you're a good person, I believe that's a reflection of the soul. So, you know, if you're a nice person, that's how you appear on the outside. Originally from the Central Coast, Chelsea Trotter is a 22-year-old Sydney-based model who's had her eyes on the Miss Universe quest since moving to the big smoke at 18. I sort of found out about the Miss Australia competition and started understanding how it all worked, that you had to be Miss Australia before you went into Miss Universe Australia. And I just thought that it would be an amazing opportunity and would be so great to, you know, be an ambassador for your country and, you know, go into Miss Universe. And yeah, I just thought it would be an amazing experience and I love what the competition stands for as well. Chelsea should be well suited for the quest, having thrived in the competitive modelling scene and, in her early teens, the intimidating world of the Australian ballet. Which is more cutthroat? I would have to say the world of ballet is definitely more cattier than the world of modelling. Just the mothers that are also, they call them stage mothers, that are there with the um, girls that you're dancing with and competing with and they sort of do little things to tamper with your point shoes or they'll do things like that or the girls, you know, would be listening to the mothers and the mothers would be telling the girls not to make friends with people and not to mingle with the other girls just to keep to themselves. Nevertheless, Chelsea thinks her ballet experience will help her Miss Universe efforts more than the modelling. With the ballet um, background behind me, I can bring the performance to the stage and have a little bit of fun on the stage. With the modelling world, the catwalks, it's all very serious and you're straight down the catwalk and you're back, you're not smiling, you're not you know, giving a bit of your personality up on the catwalk, you're just sort of being almost a blank ca canvas so that, you know, the clothes jump out more than your personality jumps out. So I think with the Miss Australia competition, being out on that stage is about, you know, showing who you are and your personality coming out and smiling and being confident and, yeah. Bikini, evening gown, cocktail dress, what's your strongest hand? I would say bikini because I, I feel confident in my body, you know, um, I, I wouldn't say I'm the fittest girl out there or anything like that for a long time. I had, um, I was very conscious of my body and everything like that and I just feel like I've accepted who I am, what body shape I am and I just am comfortable in my own skin so I can just go out in a bikini now which is something once upon a time I would have dreaded as a young girl but now, you know, I love my body, I, I am who I am and yeah, so I feel confident in myself. As one of seven New South Wales finalists in Miss Universe Australia, Chelsea's ultimate dream is now within her grasp. I would be so excited. I'd, I'd just be ecstatic if I won and I'd just be so grateful and think, oh my goodness, you know, how did I get here? <laughs> but so happy and grateful because I've worked hard to get here as well. With the Miss Universe Australia finals looming, does Chelsea think she can win? I think I'm ready and I think I've got a lot to bring to the competition. I'm feeling very confident in myself, so yeah. The winner will be chosen in Melbourne on the 8th of June. This is Sarai Fuda for The Telegraph.